Hey guys, so this weekend it is a big South African derby in the Pro 14. It is the Kings versus the Cheetahs in which is called round 8 of the Pro 14. It is quite difficult because it is technically round 11, but technically this replaces a round that they, both of these teams missed. So let's just call it the Kings versus the Cheetahs. As you can see, I am recording from my office at the moment. I'm just going to uh, keep it short because uh, I'm stealing a bit of time at the moment. So let's just keep it short. I'm just stealing a bit of lunch time here. So this is how the two conferences of the two teams look so far. The Cheetahs, they are in the middle of their conference with two games less than the other opponents in the in the conference. They are in a good position to actually get the third spot in their conference with a win or two would do them a world of good. And with two bonus points wins, that would leave them in a great spot in the conference. For the Kings, though, in Conference B, uh, they are at the bottom of the conference. They are uh, dead last, and even two bonus point wins won't really bring them much in the pocket, but it will close the gap a little bit. The game will be played in Nelson Mandela Stadium, and it is um, in Port Elizabeth, and it will be kicking off at 3.30 on a Saturday in South African time. The Kings record so far, they've only won one game um, and that was away from home against the Ospreys. So their home record so far, not so good either. But they've had close losses to the Blues and Treviso. So hopefully they can step up their game a little bit. For the Cheetahs, they've won four out of eight games so far. So a 50-50 season, that why, that's why you can see they are in the middle of their conference so far. Their season started off with a bang with three victories at home. Uh, then all of the rest of their games was a way where most of them they actually lost. The only one they actually won was against the Ospreys who are in quite bad form. So you, it was expected. Let's have a little bit of a closer look at the teams. For the Kings they have Skulk Ferrara starting at the prop and at the hooker the Toy he's playing against his old side and the Clark. The bench will be Van Rooyen, Vos and Prinsloo. For the Cheetahs, they have Fenter, Dweba. He's back in the side. He's switching out with Arnoldi, who is now on the bench. I love seeing Dweba play. I think he should become a Springbok. I can't wait to see him there either. Uh, I just love seeing him running with the ball. He's quick as well for a big guy. So I think he deserves it. And then Kutsia rounding out the front row. The other guys on the bench is the Jager and the Brain. Then looking at the second row for the Kings, Johnny Sexton's brother, uh, Jerry, he's in the second row for them. And then Fortain as well with De Vier on the bench. While the Cheetahs have Manjezi, great player as well. He's been in great form. He just loves carrying the ball forward. And Walt Steenkamp also being in good form. Uh, he's a pretty solid guy at line out time. And on the bench, they have the very tall JP De Priya on the bench. So he's just going to add some tall timber as well. Loose forwards for the Cheetahs, Chris Massain and Pocamela. Uh, Pocamela is one to watch in that side. He's a great runner with the ball. Quick, he's strong. And then Olafir at number eight. Rounding out on the bench though, it is Aiden Davis as well. The loose forwards for the Kings, they have Ruan, Larim and then Boli. Uh, you have to watch him out. The matchup between him and Pokamela is going to be one to watch. They are very similar in stature, very similar style of play as well. So I think that's going to be a good one to watch. And then low at number 8. The bench for the Kings then is Badinjana. The captain at number 9 for the Kings is Ungara and his bench replacement is Maria. Then Pretorius is on number 10 for the Kings with Venar being his replacement either at number 10 or at fullback. For the Cheetahs, they also went with their captain at number 9. Tian Mayer is chosen above Pinar who has been left on the bench uh, at scrum half. And I don't know about this one. I actually liked seeing Pinar come onto the park the other day against Zebre. He just made a big difference to the side. When he came on the side, actually looked like they are going to score some tries and get points. Uh, with Mayer in the side, it didn't look so good. But the whole side kind of was changed in that game. So maybe it isn't just down to the scrum half. Uh, like I said, the, the team changed. So the fly half, Tian Skuman, he's also back in at 10. And that's a big boost with Whitehead now being dropped to the bench. He wasn't that good against Zebra either. Uh, so I think that's a good move from them. 
Centers, it is Janse van Rensburg. He's a strong runner. With the quick number 13, William Smallsmith. And then their replacement will be Chris Smith as their cover. The guys keeping an eye on them is JT Jackson and Sitole. It's a good combination. I think they have, they do complement each other a bit. Um, so I think that would be a great matchup between the two center pairings. Then getting out wide for both these teams, they are always dangerous. For the Kings, they have Kronier out wide and Penke. And then they have Banda as well playing his 50th game for the team. And he will want to score a try. He is a dangerous player. And then on the bench, they have Lopesha. The Cheetahs, I always say this is where they actually shine and where they are at their most dangerous. They are full mode. Great runner with the ball. Blomikis, he's at 14. It's not where I prefer him. But Reino Smith, the form he has been in, it's good to see him at fullback. So I think the guys out wide, they, they're going to get a lot of ball in this game. They, you might see them run a bit, might see them score a couple of tries. I can't wait to see what this game brings. I think there's going to be a lot of running in this game, a lot of running rugby, not a lot of kicking. Uh, might be a few scuffles as well, a few... Uh, penalties as well maybe in the start of the game that's kind of how things go with these two teams but I think the Kings at home they do really play well when they play against the Cheetahs at home uh, they do have a shot of course but I think the Cheetahs are just too strong and they will win by nine points guys let me know your predictions for this week's game down in the comment below and then if you want to see any of the other videos, check it out next to me. And then you can also join the super rugby pools, uh, the super group pools down in the description below. Cheers. Bye.